Health officials are concerned tonight all the protests over the last week could cause a spike in COVID-19 cases. Both Governor Greg Abbott and the city of Austin say they're working to make testing more accessible for protesters, many who are not wearing masks or social distancing. KXA investigator Kevin Clark is live downtown tonight. And Kevin, you have learned about more safety measures coming this weekend. Aaron, another large demonstration here in front of the Texas State Capitol. We actually had one group march north here on Congress and join with this other group that was already large. I'll step out of the way so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about here. There are times where it's been completely silent here. Other times, people are chanting George Floyd's name in unison. Demonstrations are expected to continue this weekend, and despite the lack of social distancing that's taking place at these protests, no city leaders are telling people not to go out and protest, but instead to do it safely. Protests spurred by the death of George Floyd and Mike Ramos, who died in the hands of police, have taken over the attention of Austin leaders. But at the end of a two-day city council meeting to address APD's use of force on protesters last weekend, Mayor Steve Adler offered a reminder, we're still in a pandemic. If you need to demonstrate or want to demonstrate this weekend, I would urge you to be safe. I'm still concerned. Uh, about what we're going to see in several weeks. Because of the mass gatherings, Austin Public Health is now encouraging attendees to sign up for COVID-19 testing, whether they have symptoms or not. A city spokesperson tells me that it's possible protesters were exposed to the virus but do not yet have symptoms. And if you look at some of the, the video and images from these protests, people were shoulder to shoulder, and so they weren't social distancing. So that's absolutely a concern. That's Ted Burton of Central Health, which funds community care and its COVID-19 testing clinics. The drive and walk-up testing is primarily aimed at low-income communities who don't have health insurance. Community care also offers asymptomatic testing. While testing at its sites has increased, so has the positivity rate, up to 28% last week. That was higher uh, than the previous six weeks. So it's steadily, uh, with the exception of one week increasing, so that's worth noting and certainly a, a cause for concern. Protests will continue this weekend. Thousands are expected Sunday at a demonstration led by the Austin Justice Coalition. The nonprofit Austin Emergency Supply Foundation has provided 6,000 masks, which Councilmember Harper Madison's office will be distributing there. Now, we, this early this afternoon, we did ask for more details of Governor Abbott's office on his comments about adding more testing, testing to Texas cities where there have been large protests, including here in Austin. When we learn of those details, we'll bring them to you on our website, kxan.com. Kevin Clark, KXAN News.